in a world cluttered with apps. Finding the right ones can be a real game changer for a simplified life. So here are my top four essential apps that keep my life minimalist and organized. Let's get started with Fantastical. I have my personal calendar, I have a work calendar, I have a public email, and for clients and coaching calls and meetings, all of these calendars live in different places. Using something like Fantastical, I'm able to aggregate all of my calendars into one place. So I have the widget on my phone and so I can see right at the top when it's somebody's birthday and they make it super easy for me to send them a quick message because it's synced with my contacts. And so I'm able to touch base with people on their birthdays and I love this feature. It just makes it so simple to keep in touch. It just simplifies the whole process, which is obviously the goal here. And it helps to keep track of meetings and all that stuff. This helps to not have to remember those things on my own because I already have so many things going on in my brain. Plus, I find that the UI is beautiful, so it just makes it more rewarding to use their app. This is quite possibly my favorite app for idea capturing because there is zero friction here. There's no excuse to get the idea down on paper, or I guess, screen. <laughs> Apple Notes is so simple and so easy to use. Whenever I have an idea or a thought, I quickly jot it down and I'm able to keep things organized. They just make it so simple. It just works. It just works the way it ought to. I use it for my scripts, for planning YouTube videos and organizing all of my ideas, future titles. I even toss my thumbnails in there sometimes. And I use it for personal things as well. I have a captain's log that I keep. Every day I write down what I did that day. I use it for reference so that I can remember if I bought a specific thing or I want to remember where I was on a specific day and it's just a fun thing that I've been doing for a couple years now. I also have a number of lists there as well. I keep my grocery lists so that I never overbuy or spend money on things that I don't actually want. I also have this list, which is the ultimate list for ending all sickness. <laughs> it's a fun list that I often send my friends whenever they let me know that they're sick so that I can remind them of the little things that they should do to help them to feel better and get better quicker. I store even the wildest ideas onto my Apple Notes. I even have a note right here that tells me to remind you to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because it'll make you cooler. Hmm, wow, look at that. This is pretty basic because it's the clock app. It's straightforward, it is what it is. But believe it or not, there are so many apps out there that overcomplicate such a simple thing. I don't want any of that. So I just use the basic clock app that comes with my phone. I set up a bunch of alarms to keep me accountable for my power hour, which I've tweeted about. If you're interested in knowing more about that, then let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a separate video about my power hour. At the end of the day, I use the clock app for my alarms to get up in the morning and for little reminders and things like that and setting up time my gripe with other apps and things for alarm clocks is that I feel like they're trying to force you to do a thing that you don't feel motivated to do. So really the core problem here is being motivated to wake up. <laughs> and I don't want to be, I don't want to feel forced to do something. And I don't want you to feel forced to do something either. The key is to be motivated, to want to wake up, to want to respond to my alarm clock. So having something that's easy to use with no friction gives me no excuse. If I'm having trouble waking up or keeping up with my timers, then that signals to me that I have something else that I need to work on internally, or maybe there's a project that I don't actually really want to be doing. Instead of forcing myself to swallow a pill I don't want, then I figure out why I don't want it and work from there. 
Plus it's good for travel, easy to carry around, and has all of the world clocks. I don't need anything else. Let's talk about... Let's talk about self-actualization for a minute. Self-actualization entails learning and expanding my knowledge and growing. This is why my next app is Masterclass. It is so fun and educational. I'm currently taking a cooking class with Gordon Ramsay. I just finished a makeup class with Bobby Brown and probably my favorite class that I've ever taken on Masterclass was a filmmaking class with Ron Howard. He really dives into his creative process as a filmmaker. And who better to learn all of these things from than people who have succeeded in their industry. The cool thing about Masterclass is that they come with little booklets that I can download so I can make notes while I'm watching the different classes and I can bookmark things within the platform for future reference. And having it on my phone means that I can learn wherever I go. I'm able to download the classes and the learning never stops. Plus, I've been able to apply the things that I've learned within Masterclass in the real world. And I love that. Anyway, you should try it out. That way, we can both self-actualize together. And with that, I'll say that minimalism isn't about having less, but about making room for more of what matters. I hope that me talking about these four apps inspire you in some way to simplify and streamline your digital world. And if you want to know what else is on my iPhone, then check out my other video where I dive into everything that is on my phone. And we also talk a little bit about digital minimalism and, you know, phone addiction and all that good stuff. I've also put a link to it in the description and in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and keep it simple, stay focused, and I will see you when I see you. Mm -hmm.